Hello guys, and here we are, uh, back on this server. Oh, it still doesn't have an official name yet. It says a temporary name we're calling it Atomic Server, but that's just a temporary name until we can come up with a real name. Because this isn't, uh, it's not like I just make all the rules or anything. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's been a few, this is a few days after, uh, the last video that you saw. And we've done a lot to spawn town. We've prettied it up. I uh, made this little farm, then I built this other farm that goes into this farm, which makes this one look kind of stupid. Uh, there's me and Cobra's house. She made it look all fancy. I'll, sh I'll uh, show it to you in a minute. Uh, anyway, uh, there's Oddmast's house right there with this thing above it. Uh, Mianthador's house, Star's house, Ed's house. Um, let's see, does Odd have a house? Maybe he's sharing with Ed, I don't know. Anyway, over here is what I've been working on most of the time. Uh, this is my house. It's got my farm, which has pretty much been feeding the server. And it gets about a uh, chest of potatoes per harvest from this thing with a fortune 3 pick. This is not a fortune 3 pick, though. Anyway, uh, you might be wondering why my inventory is like how it is. We're going to be going getting some glowstone in a minute. Anyway, I just thought I'd show this off because this is brand new to you guys. I'm build, building it with a hay roof, so I've got uh, the wheat growing, and I've got sugar cane too, just because, you know, sugar cane. I've also got my trusty horse with diamond armor. Sorry guys if I think I did too much without you. It's been a few days and I was just having so much fun playing, I didn't, uh, didn't really hit record. Anyway, I'll just show you guys what's in my chests. A lot of saddles, gold horse armor, some logs. I went and found some desert temples, got some TNT from that. And my picks. This is a nice one. And we got this one, which kind of sucked, but it's not terrible. And this one. So this and this are our main glowstone picks. So I got this stuff in here, got an ender pearl, got to work up to that dragon fight. And I've got this, 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 and this. And this thing, which I put 30 levels onto. This pick is... it's, it's not a good pick. So, oh, and here's another saddle in here. Okay, anyway, uh, still more things to show you. I've got more storage inside, and the basement is really cool. Plus, there's st also storage in the ceiling of this place. So, um, up here first, as you can tell, the ceiling is totally done already. And I've got potatoes, and some more potatoes, and this thing's empty. So, I'll just show you the basement, which is where we've got the enchanting room. I really like it with the quartz. It makes it look all fancy and nice. I like it. And I've got my anvil, crafting table, nether wart farm over here, and, uh, you know, just some potions over here. Also, my glowstone right now, embarrassingly low, I know. Especially considering the portal was yesterday. Should really be more than this by now, but I was focusing a lot more on quartz. But on plus side, I have a lot of quartz now. But we're going to get a lot more. And also, I noticed... Getting two stacks of these blocks with a fortune 3 pick is about 30 levels. So that's mainly how I've been leveling up. 20 diamonds, bunch of redstone, lapis, some gold, lots of iron and coal. Got this, got these uh, stack of coal blocks over here. Uh, this, this, doesn't, this hallway doesn't actually go anywhere yet. Anyway, I think that's just the quick house tour. This is the uh, white stained clay right here. And let me see, anything else I need to show off over here? Nope, uh, so, well, I gotta show off the, uh, village house with Cobra. So, it's that, uh, blacksmith right there. Also, over here, you may or may not notice, but we did a lot of terraforming. I lowered this terrain one or two blocks over here, I lowered this hill, I cut the top off this hill, with Star's help, of, with, uh, Star helping, of course. Because uh, we just sort of tag teamed while no one else was on and cleaned up this village. We removed a few of the stupid houses. We moved, there used to be a farm right here. Uh, I moved it down there and changed the crops a little bit. There used to be a house over here and a house over there and a well over there. We got rid of those. There used to be a cave entrance here. We covered it up. There used to be another cave entrance right there. We covered that one up. Overall, this is looking a lot nicer right now. And right over here is the spawn. There's some lava tower over there. I don't know why. And Minecraft is just rendering amazingly right now. 
Anyway, I think maybe Tyler built that. I'm not really sure. Oh well. Uh, Cobra made this uh, nether portal uh, hut thing. I like it. I like quartz. It's pretty. Alright, so I'm just going to show you the early workings of the hub room. Yeah, it's, it's pretty early working. But this will be our nether hub. Eventually. For now, I just uh, head down into the real nether like this. And we're off to grab us up some glowstone. So one thing I noticed that was, seems really, really sad. Uh, efficiency 4 no longer seems to actually uh, chain break glowstone. I know. And if you don't know what I mean by chain break, I mean like that. Just you break a whole bunch of them. And do I have any? I don't have any arrows. Shit. The server's not... Oh yeah, this server's too laggy to be doing this. My ping time is not good enough. Uh, we also changed the host. I am no longer hosting this server myself off my own computer. Uh, it's now being hosted by uh, Oddmast. Uh, so nothing really changes about the server at all. It's just... Uh, he, I think it's the servers that he's paying for or something. Which I think he already had the server. And I think his friend runs a server company or something. So he has a server access or something. I don't know how it works, but... Oddmast is providing the physical server right now. But that doesn't really change anything, because there's no, uh, nobody's actually in charge of the server at all. Like, I mean, uh, all players on here are equal. That's what I mean. So, see, there's quartz over there that I'm not bothering to get, because that thing's hard to reach. Anyway, I n remember since I was, uh, just over in this part of the nether gathering quartz, that there is glowstone... See, there's a nice big chunk up there. Oh, a gas. Isn't that just wonderful? Just don't want to get this glowstone. Oh, maybe I don't want to get that glowstone. It seems like it would be a pain in the ass to get. But this stuff over here seems good. And this is how far I got last time I went quartz mining, which was like a minute or two before I hit record this time. Light up, guy. There you go. Yep, uh, this no longer chain efficiency no longer has any effect on glowstone. Because I think swords are the proper uh, thing to use on it, so... Picks with efficiency no longer have that effect. The same way they don't work on dirt anymore. They don't work on glowstone anymore. It's a shame because that was really fun to just come up here and just go... And collect all the glowstone. Oh well. I mean, at least the silk touch still works, right? It'll just take longer. And there's some up there. But yeah, it's it's sad. It's because I think glowstone is classified as glass now. Uh, it might have been before. But, and the same way that uh, high levels of efficiency on picks no longer just chain break dirt. Uh, it no longer chain breaks glowstone, which is very, very sad. Might sink into a depression on this one. See here, I'm gonna make sure I don't lose any glowstone. I don't want to lose this glowstone to the lava. Hmm. Make a little platform, and I, I'm nervous I'm gonna lose some. I'm also nervous I'm gonna fall off this damn thing because they nerfed regen potions, which I do not like. They're already hard enough to get with gas tears. They don't need to be nerfed. Thank you, Dinnerbone, for nerfing them. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. And go up one block. Uh, so, this server, I am loving it on here. It's very fun. I've been playing pretty much all day since... Well, all day every day since it went up. <laughs> well, not completely. Not completely all the time, though. But most of the day I am spending on here. I swear I have a life, I swear. Anyway, uh, thinking, what am I going to do with all this glowstone? I think I, this time, unlike the Minecraft fan servers on its old world, I think I will actually do something with it. I don't know what, but it'll be something. It'll be cool, I'm sure. Chain break the nether rack. And see, where's all this glowstone? 
Oh boy, there's one down there. And be careful, be careful, I don't want to fall off. Because I'm pretty sure this regen potion will not actually protect me at the same rate the lava will kill me. I don't have any magma cream yet, so that's why I'm just using this regen. It's not as good, but hey, it's something, and I stand a better chance of surviving lava with this regen potion than without it. Now let me see here. More glowstone over there. I'm gonna keep I guess I'm gonna keep hugging this cliff looking for glowstone. Whew. Okay. Hmm. Oh, quartz. Yay. Now do I want to use silk touch on this and just forge it later? Or what I could do is just I don't have any arrows anyway, I'm just gonna do that. Go ahead and grab this stuff now. And this stuff gives you a lot of XP. Like I said, two stacks of these blocks. Like, the uh, actual full quartz blocks should get me to level 30. And let me see here. Uh, this is not necessary. I'll just leave the mushroom back. And I'm going to do this. There we go. Glowstone there. Get the rack there, there, there. And that's good. Okay, now I just need to not die. Hmm. This is not the best position I've ever been in in the, in the uh, nether. But it's not the worst, either. Alright, let's head on down here and see if we can find something good. And, of course, there we go. Oh boy, where is he? He's down there. Okay, well, let's just hurry up and grab this quartz. So any uh, glowstone that I can reach, I'll check for that in just a sec. I hope this doesn't get boring with me just uh, mining quartz here and talking. I think I spoke too fast in the beginning of this video. I ran out of things to say, at least interesting things. Okay, oh, whoops. Back from the guest over there. Okay. Hmm. That looks cool over there. I kind of want to go over there. Ceiling has tons of glowstone. What's my render distance? I think it's on far. Yep, far, max FPS, graphics fancy, and I'm carrying on at 30 FPS, huh? Oh well, I'm recording too. Thought it would be higher than 30, but at least it's a consistent 30 FPS, and not like lag spikes everywhere. Hmm. Alright, let's see what's down this way. Ooh, glowstone right there. Uh, Pikmin right here, he's not angry at me, fortunately. When I first went into Nether, I died like three or four times, because, uh, let's see, I ran into another fortress, um, there was Wither Skeleton, I hit the Wither, no wait, there's a Blaze, I was hitting the Blaze, then there was a Wither Skeleton, and at some point in me just flailing about hitting those things, I hit a Pigman, and I died three or four times trying to get my stuff back, but I did get most of it back, which is good, I got all the important things back, like this pick. Okay, so let's see. Uh, glowstone. Glowstone, don't be... Why does glowstone always form above lava? Could have sworn they coded it like that, but oh well. Okay, then. Hop on up here. Ghast, please do not see me. Please don't see me, please don't see me. And glowstone, yes. So, I'm still wondering kind of what I want to do with this. Oh, god, no. Jump. It was a good decision to jump. Save the glowstone and possibly myself from getting knocked off. Hmm. This may not be a safe place to actually mine this glowstone. Well, I'll give it one more shot. And let me see. Hopefully I won't get shot at this time. Okay, so, uh, sorry if I'm getting a little bit boring. I think I'm going to cut this uh, glowstone part soon once I get this glowstone. And I'm going to keep glowstone hunting. And then I'm going to do something else. I don't know. Maybe I'll build or I'll cave or something. Oh, shit. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, here we go. Alright, jumping off is a good idea. There's only a few more pieces up there. It's tempting to just leave it. I think that's just gonna, gonna be what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave those few pieces up there as a memorial to how I almost died. Okay then. 
Hmm. So I'm going to go find a safe place and then I am going to uh, cut for now. Here seems pretty safe. Alright, um, see you guys in just a sec. Okay guys, here we are. Uh, here's the loot. A couple stacks of glowstone, a bunch of quartz, and let's see. Not too much damage to my picks. I am however going to do a repair, I think. Pair up this pick with this pick. Okay, uh, anything else I need in here? No, I don't think so. Okay then. Yeah, do a repair, put away the stuff. And then I think we might just do something else this episode. Okay, let's see. Um, no, I need to repair. Alright, let's see what this costs. And the other way around is... 20, okay, that's much better. And this will get me an actually really nice pick. Now, do I want to wear this one down more? No, no, not really. And there we go. Now we have a really nice pick. Very, very nice pick. So let's see. So I've got all major pick types, just the workhorse, workhorse pick, uh, Silk Touch, and uh, Fortune 3. Yeah, let's see, um, put away this. Oh, I have to craft the quartz first. Okay, uh, put away the glowstone. Um, quartz, 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 quartz. Sorry, man, I'll, I'll uh, answer you there in a second. Uh, let's see, put away that stuff, this stuff, and I'm going to answer me now, so pause recording. Okay, um, hmm. now what are we going to do here? Um, I do have some nether quartz ore, which I'm just going to keep around because, I don't know, it's cool. See, I've got gas here and gunpowder. I'm going to put this stuff in the way with this stuff. Right there. Put this over here. This back here. <sighs> okay, then. I really like the way this enchanting lo room looks. Bookshelves and quartz just go great together. And these lamps are nice, too. Hmm. Can't really make the whole room out of quartz, though. I might do a room made out of quartz, though. Because, you know, quartz is awesome and... I've got a plenty of it. So, anything else that I'm going to want to do this episode? I really, I really want to make a storage area. Now, should I make a storage shack outside, or should I make... I think I'm going to make a storage shack outside, like over here, just to like hold items for me. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So, what should I make it out of? Probably the same theme as this house over here. Hmm case, I'm going to need hardened clay and wood. Alright, I'm going to get some stuff together. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got the stuff. I got white stained clay and oak wood. So I'm wondering, do I want to build it over here, maybe? Or over here where my chests are right now? I'm thinking right where my chests are right now, but I'm, I should probably move these, these trees also. Okay, you know, I'm going to do that off camera, though, because, you know, chopping down trees, that's just boring. So, uh, jump cut. Okay, guys, cut that down, and I got more wood to use, so let's see here. Let's just start by making a few markers. Okay, so, the interior of the shack. Uh, if any of you can remember back to, um, actually exactly a year ago when I was doing SMP Adventures, uh, remember my little storage shack, like the couple of you that were subscribers then? So, uh, I'm going to do something similar to that, but with stained clay now. So, let's see. Let's see, one, two... Space, one, two, space, one, two, okay, right there then. So that's enough room for three chests along each side. Let's see that, one, two, that way, do, do, one, two, there. Let's see, I hope this is a good size, it doesn't get intrusive at all. Uh, it should be. Yeah, it seems to be about a right size. Hope, mm, might obstruct the view a little bit. I think I'm going to move it over one. And of course now i got to pull out my axe. And my axe. Okay, so just shift these down one. It's going to look awesome when this is done. I think. I hope. And put that there. This here. I don't need these fence posts anymore. I'm not using ho those horses. They're all just enclosed within this fence now. Or used somewhere else. Okay then, let's see. Right there. 
Hmm. Alright, for this one, looks like I'm going to need a piece of dirt. And with that dirt, here's that dirt. Actually, you know what? I can do something better with this. Uh, that there, that there. There we go. And I'm probably going to fill in this land a little bit right here, just to make it look like it's a more solid foundation. So then, that there. Doo -doo. Got to build up these uh, initial posts with the wood. So of course it's going to be in the same style as uh, that. But still similar to how I did it last year. and Because uh, that, was, that was a nice design, I liked it. So let's see here. Yeah, I think it's going to be nice. I like how it kind of looks like plaster or something. Alright, let's see... Yeah, this base is going to have to get a little buffed right here. A little there, a little there. Oh yeah, it's nice. I like this, I approve. Atomic approves of this. Well, of course I do, I'm building it, duh. So, let's see... Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, one other thing before I forget, uh, I will be doing a vlog sometime this month. So you guys can look forward to that. I am one handsome son of a bitch, I assure you. <laughs> and let's see, almost done using this clay. Nice. Interior looks kind of bland, though. But I guess once it has chests and a floor, it won't look too bad. Okay, what if I use this hard, regular hardened clay for the floor? How's this look? Meh, I don't like that floor. Well, actually, I kind of do. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna move my bed. Put it somewhere more logical. Like maybe inside my house or something. And even though I don't really like coming into the house that much. There we go, it's still a more safe location than just leaving it outside. Where the zombies can get to, possibly, potentially. I have seen creepers around, and Mian is also is uh, also online, so I'm not going to be able to actually sleep. But that's okay. Ooh, shack looks nice from over here. Okay, then, let me see. What shall the interior look like? Get this flower out of here. Uh, floor, I'm thinking something with glowstone, and... What if I use straw for the floor? Nah, don't think straw would look too great. Mm. I used brick in the last one that I made of these. What should I build it out of? Not mossy, it would, it would look weird. Um, no. What if I used a combination of dirt, netherrack, and... Where is it? I'm sure I have some gravel in here somewhere. Okay, okay, so I don't have any gravel, I don't think. But what if I did something like this? Uh, where's a the shovel? There's my shovel. What if I did a floor that looks something like this? Let's see here. Just tear up the stuff. So a floor should consist like this, then. Don't know why I tore up the dirt then if I... There, something like this. Um, ooh, yeah, who doesn't like this pattern? It's a nice pattern right here. Do, 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 do. There, that there. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Just look at this thing. If I could just get some gravel, I could come in here and place a few around. Maybe if I bordered it with gravel. Oh, yeah, that'd look awesome. But seriously, though, I'm out of ideas. Okay. Mm. Maybe. No. Quartz would look out of place here. Alright, well, I might have to... I'll do the floor later. Might just do it off-screen and then tell you what block I chose. I mean, it'll be obvious once I come in here what block I chose, but still. Could you go... No, no, quartz doesn't look good, like I said. Hmm. What if I did solid glowstone? Let's see, just place a few torches around. Hmm. Wood, maybe? How would wood look with this stuff? Hmm. Don't 
know about... Maybe wood. Okay, maybe wood. That's one option. Um... Hmm. Possibly wood, then. That's all I got right now. Okay, so... How long is this episode? I think it's like 20-some minutes so far. Hmm. How would cobble look? Don't think I want to do cobble. I'd rather do wood than cobble. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a wooden floor here. Hmm. Make this stuff. Yeah. Alright, this is reasonable. And maybe we'll have some uh, glowstone or glowstone lamp accents for this thing. We can make it look all fancy and stuff. And just need a little bit more of this wood. And there we go. Okay, the floor's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna I am gonna be tearing some up to put in some glowstone lamps then. But first, hmm. Do I want to use jack-o'-lanterns under these things? Because that looks usually pretty cool. Now I'll just use glowstone. I mean, I've got tons of glowstone. So I'll just carve out where the glowstone is going to have to go. This thing, this thing. Um, okay, then. I think I should have some other glowstone lights other than just under the chests. So, hmm. Let's see. Where else would glowstone lights want to go? Well, it's probably sufficient, but I feel like the floor is a little bit too bland. Oh well, though, for right now. Okay, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and put in the chests and the glowstone off camera. And I probably will wait for you guys to do the roof next time. Probably. Anyway, I will uh, see you guys next time. Uh, great episode, I think. Uh, again, if you have any server suggestion names, please tell them in the comments. And I will see you guys next time.